Well, hello everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with huh, a new mod test. And we have Cowshed 3 plus 3 five by DMI 20mm Normandy <clears throat> 10.53 megabytes to download and 17 slots. Now, what is that? That's a. Just did something there. Weird. <laughs> Can you pick it up? Nope. Okay, yes. All right, so. <laughs> This is a cow shed. It will hold 200 cows, and it has some interesting, interesting things about it. Um, let's have a look at uh, where you can get it first. Uh, animals, cows, and there it is cow shed three plus three. Uh, it is placeable. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Uh, for the size, only 200 cows. It's a little bit. Mm, there's, there's the, uh, there's this one. That's even. That's about the same size in footprint, and it holds 490. Just saying, it should hold a lot more. But having said that, uh, there it is, $300,000. Um, we've got. Uh, we got the cows in there. We haven't. I haven't spun it up yet, um, because I uh, show you the capacity. Straw, not much. Twenty-one thousand liters only. Uh, we're going to see how long that lasts. It does hold one hundred and fifty thousand liters of TMR, and we're going to find out how much milk and slurry it will uh, it will hold as well. So, um, and then we're going to show you that that the food goes in here. Which has this is an interesting. This. This can open, <laughs> open and close. Oh yes, I did forget. Uh, I don't think that manure, thing is going to work, because it said the manure spawns inside. The description says manure can be re removed by, and added using the second door from the. One of these doors. I don't think this door at the end here opens. No, no, it's the door that I opened over there. That door. Removed it. I don't know why you want to add manure, but it says removed and added. <laughs> uh, or perhaps this door. No, this door does not open. This door. Oh, wait a minute. That's just. What? Oh. Aha. Perhaps manure appears here. Well, we'll find out where the manure appears. <laughs> what? Okay, that oh, okay. So you can't you can't open to have that one open and get in. Mm hmm. Right. Okay. So we're going to go we're going to zip ahead and uh, take a look see this is this is going to be where yeah, this is milk. This is your milk output because the other side is a slurry pit. Let's go have a quick... Uh, we, we, we ran past that without looking at it. <laughs> Here you go. You can, can close that for safety. Close it, close it so you don't fall in. You don't want to fall in there. No, that would be bad. Um, so we're going to check that out. <clears throat> and uh, other stuff. So uh, we'll be back. All right, so I didn't notice that before. Um, so we we went ahead two months because the first month it wasn't quite up to capacity, but it was pretty close. <clears throat> it was near; there were everything was nearly full. So we went ahead two months, and uh, and here is the results. <clears throat> um, We've uh, nearly run out of food. Productivity is zero because the milk and the slurry have both filled up to capacity. <clears throat> 33,750 for the milk and 56,000 liters for the slurry. <clears throat> and uh, we're almost out of food. Now, um, as for the manure, um, if you put down a 
extension, it'll fill in here. So no worries about uh, manure piling up needing a... The, the comment uh, on the uh, thing was... Uh, on the description, manure can be removed or added using the second door from the front left next to the milk tank. You need a skid steer with a small bucket for mucking out. Well, I don't want to do that, so put up a manure extension and <laughs> you don't have to do any of that. <clears throat> uh, so there. Now, let's uh, show you first uh, where the straw goes in. Uh, so fortunately, there's a big doors through the middle that you can fit a big semi with a very big trailer such as this. Um, however, you're going to have to go to the end for straw, <clears throat> which is because, and I, I, which I noticed later, Because the straw goes um, in this little area here. Uh, if we back up, uh, see the triggers popped up. And as we pour the straw in, <clears throat> you're seeing it fill it up at the right there. That's why there's doesn't hold that much straw, and the straw runs out pretty quick. Okay, now that that's aside... We'll show you where the food, the food is much more generous area to fill up and the high ceiling means this, um, um, this trailer can tip up all the way without hitting anything. And there we go, we see it filling up and it can go all the way to the top, no collisions and lots of room. So that's very good. <clears throat> the capacities do seem a bit low because um, <clears throat> you will have to go in there very quite frequently to <clears throat> uh, supplement their food and straw. Now, milk. The milk will be over here. And, uh, whoa. Again, there's... Uh, there's a milk extension that you can extend the capacity for milk. There it is, filling up, no problem. Um, <clears throat> we'll go get the slurry. And I um, don't think we, yes, we could open the cover, apparently. Or that, yeah, okay. So uh, here we go, and there goes the slurry. And it fills pretty quickly, so not too bad. There we go. All slurried up. And um, that's, uh, I think that's it. Uh, the manure extension will, of course, work just like any manure extension. And um, there you go. Um, the small door by the, yes, uh, one of these doors. <clears throat> you know what, we're just going to do, we're just going to do something here. Uh, just uh, because. We're going to uh, take that away and see where the manure pops up. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, so I've, as you can see, I eliminated the, uh, the manure extension and um, the <clears throat> description says can be removed and added using the second door from the front left next to the milk tank. This is a milk tank. This door does not open. This is the only door that opens. And it says you need a skid steer with a small bucket. Well, this is the only bucket that comes with skid steers. Uh, bales, manure fork, maybe the manure fork, but this bucket won't fit in here. <laughs> uh, will it even, will the skid steer even fit in there? I don't even see any manure in there, so I'm not sure what, well, the skid steer will fit in there. I, I don't see where 
I would pick up anything anyways. I don't see manure. There isn't any manure uh, anywhere in here that I can see. So it could be a PC thing that's been mm, held over from the PC, maybe? But uh, anyways, uh, other than that, uh, works great. That's the uh, Cow Shed 3 plus 3 by DMI 20mm Normandy, 10.53 megabytes to download, and 17 slots on console. I'm Lindy Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. Till next time, bye for now.